Yo, what's up? As you can see, a big night for me, a little excited, a little adrenaline still in my veins. I finally put together enough gear to where I felt confident that I should try a T17. There's a lot of questions I had. There's gear options that I want to maybe explore potentially, but unless I do a T17, I just wasn't going to know the answer, so I had to do one. Some quick numbers for you, uh, everything up, I had about 20 to 22 million damage with like Spectres and AG. Without those, like if they had both died, it would have been like 13 to 14 million, give or take. So enough for the normal game, but well, these are T17s, nothing's enough for them, right? My goal with these maps was very much to just get one that had no damage mods and just go in, get a feel for it, see if it's doable and make a call. Either I keep going or I bail. And unfortunately, I never bail. So that's enough. The rest of this video is just going to be my raw just playthrough of my first map and whatever happens happens. It is what it is, boys. Enjoy. I think that's it. Let's try without a quartz. <laughs> this is still a fucked up map. Can we like agree like this is the easiest one so far and it's still fucked up? Nothing scary, actually really easy. All right, see you on the other side. Block attack damage is the big scary one. Actually not that bad. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. For the record, I have 16 or so million DPS. That ball? Why the hell is the ball here? Gary. Yeah. I mean, spooky, but so far I feel fine. That's spooky. I don't know what the hell is going on over there. I am running Predator. If I wanted to min max this, I would be running minion damage right now. To uh, clear quicker. Okay. Chaos damage. It uh, one shot my spectral leader, but that's nothing new. I think fucking dies all the time. It is 90% life though with 50% block, so I do good damage. It's just one of those like I had to pick the lesser of two evils. And this is the only one I rolled without like messed up damage mods. Like I'm pretty tanky. Like I, I definitely am ready to like do Uber Maven for example because this is the boss. So we're gonna go look for the shrines. Look for Nico. All right, it's plus one max res. Gonna look for three of them. Dude, what the fuck? Everything has is so tanky though. I mean, it it makes sense. Half of my entire damage is being blocked, so I don't know. Uh, it, it definitely makes sense. The interesting thing is, is that my arena master usually never takes damage, and he's actually taking damage right now. 6400 HP. If I die from this point, then I just suck. All right, 90% life, 50% block, but. Pretty tanky. I think the 50% block is really bad. Definitely should not have let that hit me. And my AG died. Fuck. Well, that's rip 10 div. I'm not really sure. If block was a good idea, I'm just going to soft log. 
Damn. All right, I think the block is too much. The monster life's too high. If it, if the block wasn't there, I think it'd be okay. But with the monster life there and no EG, I think I'm gonna consider this one a failure and then try again. All right, so the first one is a negative. Uh, not really sure. I'll have to look into it. What killed the EG so fast? But I just put back uh, my backup one on. So it's no Kingmaker. Yeah, it's minus 10, ten div, but you know this character is worth like I don't know 80 ish. So. I don't really care. The Kingmaker is cool, but it was more just like, I just kind of wanted to have one to have one. Um, we probably shouldn't run a Kingmaker on a four link. Uh, I kind of knew that was probably a bad idea, but uh, honestly, I just haven't used a Kingmaker in six years. So I figured uh, let's try one, but uh, he's dead. So this is the cheaper one. It's just a doppelganger guys. Uh, it's less than a one div chest. I've found a bunch of them and Dying Breath, Leercast, Legacy of Fury, some Chaos Gloves with Intimidate and that's it. So now we're going to do this one. This one is the same thing, high life, but this one doesn't have block on it. So I think this time we're going to just try it again and see how much the damage is going to be different. I knew the block was a bad idea, but I kind of just didn't think it would be that bad. Okay, well, why is this? What is this thing? How the hell was that thing so tanky? So there's an action speed thing where the more skills I use, the slower I move. That's pretty bad, not gonna lie, but. Hmm. Okay, the shaper beam. Probably a bit much. That's a. Uh... Okay, he does Shaper Slam. <laughs> what the hell? They put Shaper Slam on this fucking thing? I don't know if that's doable. <laughs> I think it's only against rare monsters. So as long as he's on rare mobs, I think he'll do that. But I don't... I mean, the chance of me getting hit by a fucking random Shaper Slam when I'm looking at all that shit is just... I think too high. Jesus Christ. I, I'm not gonna lie, brother. I think I might just go back in this map. It's a uh, we're 100 chaos in and rerolls, and we've only found that this one. I, I think it's just don't get hit by Shaper Slam. That's it. All right, fuck it. I'm going back in. I don't think that's over Shaper Balls. I think it's just like the. This Shaper Slam shit is fucked up. This is pretty bad. All right, well, let's see. Shaper cases me or not. If it was just the beam, I would just rely on reactions. The fact that I have to like, I'm like seeing purple shit everywhere, non-stop is just like not helping. Also, I don't hear any sound effects from Shaper, so I'm not hearing the slam. If I heard the slam, it'd be pretty straightforward. I'd just press ball haste and just run. The two. I think there's two. This is pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, the second the mob dies though, I wish I could just take this character into standard and just tank one just to see if I have to really be scared or not. 
I'm just fucking terrified right now of Shaper just showing up and blasting my asshole. Fuck my life. I don't want to go deeper. It's like going deeper is terrifying because I might run into more mobs that have shape on them. I'm just standing, looking at like on top of my body to see if uh, I see the purple blob. That's literally the only indication. No audio, no nothing. I just have a purple blob ahead above my head. All right, so we found the boss again. Round two, I guess. I found the three Nikos, but I don't have a shrine. That's where the clusterfuck of them, them are. Do I get something useful? Regen? Fuck it. I might have to log out anyway. Alright, round two. This time without 50% block. Also, it has a synthesis boss with them. That thing is not dying. The AG died again, so... This is pretty sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. But it is recoverable, okay, so the little guy's gone. Dude, the fucking action speed is so bad. me. Spectres are all dead. It's probably a good time to log to just get my Spectres back. To be honest, I don't really know what he's doing right now. He's just sitting in the corner. Didn't even see that, I'm gonna be honest. Alright. Got a debuff. I don't know what that is, but let's just log. Get my specters back. The AG is definitely dying a ton. Doppelganger guys, AG is just it doesn't matter. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. That, mmm. Boy. 
I'm not gonna lie. I have... I have... Uh, without the specters, I should still have like 13 million damage. With no specters. No nothing, no action speed, no, no buff, nothing at all. I should still have about 13 million damage. And he had 103% monster life with endurance charges. The action speed stuff really, really, really started to hurt. Now, it's been about 10 minutes or so since that, and i kind of just been thinking, like, man, that EG, he had, uh, he survived a lot. He survived for three days, and it was Shaper Beam was the only thing that was even tickling him. So I felt pretty confident he wouldn't die with a Kingmaker, but that's why I decided to do a T17 test run, and... He's fucking dead, okay? Ted, he got obliterated. He's survived everything so far, and he's just, he's gone. You're invited to his funeral. And then we brought in his brother, John, and I mean, pff, talk about backup quarterback, man. Like, he just went out there, two two picks, fumble, that dude, he's he gone. So I, right now, I'm just thinking of maybe just six linking, going again with like a, with another just doppelganger guys, T17 test, and just see if he survives that. But that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this wild experience of shaper slams and me being scared have a good one i've got some stuff to think about